Hello, welcome to Asian Petrol. Today we have the new Genesis G70 as a press car. It came with 3.3 liter twin turbo V6. It also came with sports package. We're going to tell you what we get with the sports package today. And while we have the car, we can also show you how fast she is, how she attacks corner, and also show you how efficient this new Genesis G70 can be with 3.3 liter twin turbo. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do consider subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys and let's get started. We also gave you a first look on this new Genesis G70, so if you missed that, please refer to the link above. It's raining today, so we're gonna have to do it under this bridge. Sorry guys, but why don't we just start looking at the car from the front. Our test is wearing royal blue. I think it matches the exterior color very nicely. So guys, do let me know which color is your favorite color for this new Genesis G70 in the comments section. And although this is facelift happening within just three years, exterior design have changed quite a bit. We have Genesis logo on the top still, but we have more prominent crest grill under there. Uh, 360 camera, radar sense for the adaptive cruise control, wide openings on the bottom, air curtains on each side, and we also have two-lined DRL, full LED headlamp system right there. And because our tester came with sports packets, it has dark chrome patterns in the center. Now let me just show you the LED headlamp system working. That's DRL, headlamp, high beam, turn signal. There's no fog lamp and this is what horn sounds like. Okay guys? And I think you guys are curious about the zero to 60 times. I am too, so let me just show you the engine room first. Here in Korea, new Genesis G70s are sold with three different engine choices. Two liter turbo, 2.2 liter diesel, and 3.3 liter twin turbo. I really wish Genesis have used the new 3.5 liter twin turbo straight out of Genesis G80 or Genesis GV80. Anyhow, our tester came with 3.3 liter twin turbo, which makes about 370 horsepower, 376 pound-feet of torque. Engine is made it to A-speed automatic, and our tester also came with dynamic all-wheel drive system. So let me just show you how fast this new Genesis G70 can be with 3.3 liter twin turbo then. It's really light, look. This new Genesis G70 also has launch control, so let's make a use of it, although it's raining, let's just do it. First, we need to disengage two-stage ESC. As second one, now we need to put the car into sports plus mode. Foot on the brake, full throttle, go! <laughs> Slight slippage even in this rain. Uh, it only took this 3.3 liter twin turbo only five seconds to hit 60 miles per hour. This 3.3 liter twin turbo still feels great and also sounds great with this new variable exhaust system, which is new for this sports package only. Woohoo! <laughs> And Genesis says this new Genesis G70 has most dynamic design in its lineup. So guys, do let me know what do you think about that statement in the comment section. Let me also show you the car from the side. This still has very long hood lines, but short overhang and also short trunk deck to emphasize this is river driven performance sedan. And Genesis also got rid of the boomerang garnish, which was somewhere around here and they replaced it with actual functional air vents on the bottom. You actually see the leaves coming out. So I do like it much better functional like this. And our tester is wearing 225, 40 by 19 up front and 255, 35 by 19 at the rear. And because our tester came with sports package, it came with dark tinted 19 inch rims and also low steel pads from Brembo. Okay, why don't we go out and show you the braking performance of new Genesis G70 with 3.3 liter twin turbo that. So 
So he took this new Genesis G70 3.3 liter twin turbo, about 123 feet to a complete stop, while these low steel pads from Brembo and Michelin PS4 tires are working beautifully together, even in this wet condition. Nice. Woo! <laughs> And let me also show you guys the uh, second row seats. I remember Genesis G70 having very tight second row seats, especially headroom. But now Genesis have reworked the second row seats and headroom got a little bit better. So let me just show you myself. You guys know I'm about 6'2". So yeah, legroom is still pretty tight, but headroom feels a little bit better still touching the ceiling, but it's a little bit better than the last generation. And, Window comes down all the way like this, which there was manual sunshade for this side, but three stage heated seats. We also have two events on the bottom, one fast USB charging port. So nice big hump in the middle for the all wheel drive system. So good luck whoever is sitting in the middle and good armrest with two cup holders. And we also have a regular sunroof on the top, but it's quite large enough, I think. Okay, so why don't we go out to the road with a new Genesis G70 with 3.3 liter twin turbo. And before we do, let me just let you hear the exhaust note, okay? Hey guys, this is in comfort mode. In sport mode. Lastly, Sports Plus map. It sounds a lot better with variable exhaust system. Okay, now let's go out and drive this car. Okay, let's start with visibility. Genesis G70 is still a Genesis, so visibility is quite nice. We have large windows all around and side mirrors are quite large enough too. We also have blind spots alert system and also blind spot monitoring system, which is new thing for this new Genesis G70, which will greatly help you during your lane changes. We also have head up display up there. So it's very pleasant to be driving this new Genesis G70, just like this. <laughs> Sounds great even in comfort mode. <laughs> Love these brakes, Brembo's. We also have two large screens up front, 12.3 inch for the gauge cluster and 10 and quarter inch for the infotainment screen. Both are very easy on your eyes and very straightforward to use. We also have very same looking climate media control made of physical buttons and dials, which I still like very much. Okay, now let's put the car into sports plus mode and drive. Wow, <laughs> pulling very nicely. Woo! We have a corner coming. It's a little bit wet, so let's be careful. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, look at it go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we have to slow down because that way is to North Korea. So <laughs> I have to make a U turn here. So, but this 3.3 liter twin turbo really knows how to scream. And I'm sure you guys know a lot about this 3.3 liter twin turbo gasoline engine, which makes about 370 horsepower, 376 pound feet of torque. And the real question is, does it feel a whole lot different in sports plus mode? Yes, it sounds louder and it feels more aggressive. Let me just show it to you. <laughs> oh my goodness, pulling, pulling. Wow. Oh my God. And in sport plus mode, the suspension really firms up. And 
<laughs> it's a rainy day, so we have to be a little bit careful, but goodness God, it just pulls in these Brembo brakes. Low steel pads for the sports package just bites. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo! I have to slow down. So, like I told you, 3.5 liter would have been better, but this 3.3 liter twin turbo still kicks some ass. <laughs> And it's peak torque size as early as 1300 RPM, so you can really enjoy a good amount of torque starting from the bottom. Let me just show it to you guys. 3.5, 4,000, 4.5, 5,000, 5.5, 6,000, shifting. So it really pulls linearly all throughout the RPM range. And Boy, does it sound nice with the active exhaust system or variable exhaust system. <laughs> Engine is made it to eight-speed automatic. We're also given paddle shifters. So let me just show you working in action. Whoa, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four three so it's not only shifting quickly but also smoothly and will it go into first gear third gear second and first it also feels very smooth in first gear that's why i like automatic with torque converters and this a speed automatic feels very solid with this new genesis g70 wow Goodness! And one nice thing is when you do aggressively brake, the RPM increases and the gears drops down aggressively to support braking. And I think that's a very good system. Nice logic there. So one more time, hard on the brakes. See, downshifting. Nice, and also hazard. <laughs> nice. So why don't we try a few corners, should take it very nicely with all-wheel drive system, rack type electric system, so let's see how it does. And mission and <laughs> tires are just doing great job, it's not making much noise, right? <laughs> so this PS4 tires are doing just phenomenal job here, great work, <laughs> Genesis 2, wow. Okay, let's try one more time on this on-ramp. Let's see what it does. Fourth gear, third gear sounds good. Let's see what it can do. Oh my God, <laughs> woo! So now I know what they call this dynamic all-wheel drive. Although this guy has all-wheel drive system, it's letting me slip the tail a little bit so I can have some little bit more fun. And overall, it just handles exceptionally well with Michelin PS4 tires. Nice. Whew. This new Genesis G70 can be also a very good highway cruiser, which is something very hard to do. But let me also show you adaptive cruise control working with lane keepers. As you can see, it's a very delicate system placing the car right on the center and also if there was a car in front it will probably keep the safe distance with the car in front and in about 10 seconds or so it's gonna say keep hands on the steering wheel but let's ignore it and see what happens um, meanwhile still doing very good job on the head-up display it's showing me various informations as well and it's gonna get louder louder Let's ignore it and see what happens. But still doing a very good job. Very stable. So in about 20 seconds, seems like more than 20 seconds for this time, but it's gonna get louder, louder. It's a little bit windy. And then 
in about 30 seconds or so it's going to completely shut off the system so even before that you should always keep your hands on the steering wheel for your own safety right and then we have a camera detector but in few seconds we're going to show you how stable this new genesis g70 is right now wow i mean also that was in comfort mode let's now in sport mode and feels very stable even on very very high speed i like the fact that the uh, rpm gauge is in the correct way for this new genesis g70 and good brakes good brakes really like this uh, brembo brakes with low steel pads from brembo as well it's working very nicely Let's see if we can do the corner. It was raining until like uh, an hour ago. It's getting dried out, but let's see. If it's too wet, let's just skip it, but let's go try the corner pretty soon, okay? All right, guys, why don't we try the corner with new Genesis G70. Hopefully it's not so wet. Yeah, it still looks too wet. Um, let me just try to push it a little bit. Oh, it's too wet, but ESC, uh, all-wheel drive system, adaptive suspension, and Michelin tires are working very hard to keep this sedan planted, even in this wet conditions. Uh, wish it didn't rain today, but, you know, maybe next time when we get it, uh, Stinger with 3.3 liter twin turbo, we're going to show you how it handles, okay? So, all right. And before we end the show, why don't we check out the efficiency of this new Genesis G70 with 3.3 liter twin turbo. It returned about 15 miles per gallon in the city and over 30 miles per gallon on the highway. And when we were checking the efficiency in the city, part of the road was flooded. So we're stuck in the traffic for about an hour. So I don't think it means much, but it's quite efficient on the highway. So not bad but who cares about the efficiency when you can do this <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> yeah hope you guys enjoyed it all right guys this has been a test drive with new genesis g70 hope you guys enjoyed it we'll be back with more car reviews so before you leave if you love cars and car reviews, please do consider subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys, see you soon, stay healthy and bye bye. Any other Genesis models? Uh, let me, oh, sorry, it's been raining all day and looks very messy. Um, I really like the fact that the trunk that also works as a spoiler open here to open the trunk we have a camera 360 camera right there genesis lettering in the middle g70 all-wheel drive system yeah i really like that dynamic two lines tail lamp it's actually full led tail lamp system I really like it uh, reflector here i really like how they integrated the reflector with the uh, exhaust here um, this came with the uh, sports package which gives you a variable exhaust system. So can you come closer? If you really take a closer look, there's actually a valve inside to open and close the, the exhaust, okay? So that's why it sounds quite nicer. They also have a matching body color, um, skid plate, not skid plate. Um, we also have a body color matching diffuser on the bottom. Let me also quickly show you the trunk. Size is same, right? Um, a bit messy today um, some nets here also have uh, some storage area fix a flat for Korean spec model and if you're watching from North America they're gonna probably give you a spare tire we also have a battery placed here for the weight distribution purposes and this is additional battery for the two-way black box installed inside a car and if you need some more space you can also fold the second row seats it's a windy today huh like this to yield more 
Cargorum. Okay guys? And I like the red seat belt right here and red stitchings here and there, it's pretty good. And we also have a 12 volt charging here. USB charging port and also wireless charging pad for your mobile phones and we also have this aluminum trim uh, with patterns you can also get it with carbon fiber but our tester did not come with that option and we also have a one fast USB charging port located right here so yeah it's pretty good And is there a mood lamp? Yes, there is. It's right up here. It's not around here or on door trim, but it's right here. And there's also a sunglass holder right there. Um, you cannot change the color, but you can just change the uh, intensity from zero to four. 